Against all the odds, the 2020 World Triathlon Series staged its first and only individual race in Hamburg, northern Germany. The world title at stake with the race run under strictly controlled conditions due to the COVID pandemic. A star-studded field included defending world champion Vincent Luis and three-time world champ Mario Mola. Also in the field, the double Olympic gold medalist Alistair Brownlee of Great Britain. An extended field of 65 men dived into the Stad Park Lake for this sprint event. So 750 metres in the water. And it was some of the usual names and a few old stages who were up front. The first boy after just a couple of hundred metres and with such a big field, you might expect some carnage. In the event, it was all pretty calm and also pretty quick. Alistair Brownlee in the middle there in the orange cap. Vincent Lewis on the far side. And on the near side, Narble of Austria. Just eight minutes and 20 seconds in the water. As Brownlee at 32, the oldest man in the field, emerged first from the water, but with some dangers all around him. Question was whether there'd be any kind of breakaway on the bike. Excellent technique from Vincent Lewis in T1, off with the wetsuit and onto the bike. And he was exactly where he wanted to be, along with Brownlee, Lacour, Berger. No joy, though, for Kasper Stornes. He was disqualified for having external help. He couldn't get the wetsuit off. Meanwhile, up front, there was a lead group who established a 20-second advantage over the chasers with just seven kilometres left to go. And in all honesty, the chasing group never really looked like closing that down. They included some stellar runners too in that chase group. The likes of Mola and Murray, Alex Yi, the young Brit who turned in some incredible times for 5,000 metres during lockdown. Question was, would he be close enough to use that running speed? The answer was no. Eight men came off the bike with a healthy advantage over the chasing pack, including three Frenchmen. One of whom, of course, was the world champion, Luis. Did have a slight issue with his bike, but because it had been racked initially properly, there was no penalty incurred when it fell down. And pretty soon, we had a trio up front. Luis, Leo Beger, and maybe the surprise of the race, Vasco Villaca, the young Portuguese. In behind, the likes of Mola and Murray, and Yi tried to make ground on the leading three, but they were just too far behind. Yella Gaines also with a terrific effort and couldn't get to that triumvirate up front. And about 800 metres from home, Vincent Lewis made the move and his two closest rivals couldn't go with him. In fact, they would have their own personal battle for silver and bronze. But Luis retained his world title. You could see exactly what it meant to him. A brilliant display from Velaka, the 20-year-old, getting the silver, and Leo Beger finishing third, his first podium. The day, though, belonged to Vincent Lewis. It, it was a short notice from ITU to say it was world champion, but I think we all we all are happy to race. We all happy to, to, to have a race, to to prove and to show what we've been doing and what we've been paid for the last 10 months. And uh, yeah, last race was in October and I did not really know where I was, like, bad my form, but uh, I guess I'm not too bad. Under the circumstances, it was terrific entertainment. A very worthy winner also. Luis ahead of Velaca with Beger back in third.